So, 6. For each of the following sector A or B with center O, find the area of segment A, C, B. So, we see here, we know the area of sector. So, area of sector is equal to half R square theta. So, theta must be in radian. Okay. And then we see here, if we calculate the triangle, if we minus the triangle, we can get the area of segment. So, area of triangle using solution of triangle. So, area in between. So, area. Theta, this one is in radian. So, area of triangle is equal to half. A, B, sine C. So, we see here this one is the angle in between two lines. So, this one is A, this one is B. And if this one is C, this one is angle C. So, you see here. And in this case, this one is radius. This one is radius. So, here we get half R, R, sine C. Or half R square. Half R square, sine C. C. So you see here? So area, so here area of segment is equal to area sector minus area triangle which is also equal half R square theta minus half R square sine C which is half R square theta minus sine C. So, you see here, area segment is equal to half R square theta minus sine C. So, this one is radian and this one is in angle. So, for A, so area of segment, area of segment is equal to half R square theta, theta minus sine C. So, we need to find what is radius, what is theta in radian and angle in degree. So, here we have a radius, we have radian. So, we need to find degree. So, 1.5 radian to convert it to degree, we multiply with 180 divided by 5. Or this one is 3.142. So, here we get. Eighty five degree fifty six minute. So here when we substitute half, so R is seven seven square. So theta is one point five radian minus sine C. So this one is sine C is angle is eighty five degree fifty six minute. So here we get twelve point thirty one centimeter square. So, B, area of segment is equal to half R square theta minus sine C. So, half R. So, here we have R, which is 10. So, radian, we have 2 over 3 pi. So, we need to know what is the angle. So, we have 2 over 3 pi. So, radian to degree, we need to multiply with 180 divided by pi. So, here we can cut pi. So, this one is 60. So, we have 120 degree. So, R is equal to 10. So, here we get 10 square. So, theta in radian is 2 over 3 by radian minus sine. So, C is 120. So, here we get 61.43 centimeter square. So C. So area of segment is equal to half R square theta minus sine C. So here we get half. So here we see radius we have which is 5. So radius is 5. So, we have the radius already. We have C, but we don't have theta in radian. 
So, 58 degree to convert to radian, we have to divide with 180. So, above would be pi or 3.142. So, here we get 1.012 radian. So, here R, so we have theta. So, R is equal to 5, 5 square. So, theta here is, theta in radian is 1.0, 1.012 minus sign. C is 58. So, here we get 2.049 centimeter square. So, D so, area sector is equal to half r square theta minus sine c. So, so, we see here r we have which is 9 but we don't have angle. So, but we see here we have 9. We have 9. So, this one is 9 and this one is 15. So, we can find the angle by using the uh, what? Abu Rapangil. So this one is 15. So we can use trigo to find the angle. So we see here if this one is 15 divided by 2, this one is 7.5. This one is 7.5. So the angle is here. So we have so cha so cha toa. So the one with the opposite and hypotenuse is sine. So sine theta is equal to opposite divided by hypotenuse. Theta is equal to Sine inverse uh, opposite divided by hypotenuse. So opposite is 7.5 and hypotenuse is 9. So here we get 56 degree 27 minute. So this is one side. So for two side we multiply with 2. So we get this angle here is 112 degree 54 minute. So this one is in angle. So in radian, to convert it to radian 11254, to convert to radian, we must multiply with, so 180 should be below, so this one is pi lah 3.142. So here we get 1.971 radian. So we have this one, we have this one, we can calculate half. So our radius is 9, 9 square. Theta is equal to 1.971 minus sine. C is 112 degree 54 minute. So here we get 42.52 centimeter square.